perform my functions in the said office. May I request that we take it again. In September 2022, he pledged full, deterred, and marched and unwavering support to his boss. <laughs> Two years later, he's faced with an impeachment jail term and death of his political career. His Excellency Deputy President Geoffrey Rigathi Gashagwa is a man under siege. Following his latest fallout with his boss, President William Ruto. <laughs> Mauliza wananchi maoni yao. Mimi tu ningewashauri tu si na siwezi kuwalazimisha. The other day niwaambia wasikize ground. Wakasema mimi na nawatisha. Mimi si watu mimi naambia tu kama kiongozi wao so, mimi najua mambo ya raia sana. Gashagu is accused of threatening President William Ruto. The second in command is accused of angrily banging the desk at a meeting with President William Ruto who denied him 8 billion Kenya shillings. Details captured in the impeachment motion showed that Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa wanted Ruto to compensate him for the votes he got from the Mount Kenya region. Each vote for Ruto in the Mount Kenya region with 4,000 Kenya shillings, the DP was reportedly only willing to walk away from his job if the sum was matched. Meanwhile, the mover of the impeachment motion also accuses the deputy president of engaging in corruption since his election to office in 2022. The move of the motion argues that deputy president Rigathi Gashagwa should have accumulated 24 million Kenya shillings as per the benefits provided by the Salaries and Remuneration Commission. In the 40-page impeachment motion against Gashagwa, the DP is accused of allegedly diverting materials allocated to the construction of the Malindi Kilifi Highway to the construction of a private road in Kilifi, leading to a hotel linked to him. The deputy president is further accused of spreading tribalism in the country by allegedly promoting the affairs of the Mount Kenya region. Gashag was one man, one vote. One shilling narrative is also believed to be a huge promoter of tribalism, hence becoming a factor in his impeachment drive. However, Gashagwa's opponents are also accusing him of sponsoring the recent Gen Z protest that turned violent. Recently, the deputy president criticized the decision by the Directorate of Criminal Investigation to charge his allies over the recent Gen Z protest. On Thursday, DCI recommended several charges against MPs for Embakasi North, James Gakuya, and Embakasi Central, Benjamin Gathiru, Major Dong. According to Gashagwa, Charging his allies, including three staff members, was one way of creating grounds for his looming impeachment. Kenya, mabo ya jenzi, akuna mtu wa juu ipahaya ilitoka. Ilitoka kwa sababu ya finance bill. Easy demonstration ilikuwa katika 35 kutope. Watu ya jenzi, kama watu ya jenzi ni warekadi kashagwa, mimi ni mwana siyasa hako na umarufu sana. Hakuna mwana siyasa ya yote Kenya hangi taka jensi iguwe nyuma yake. Kama wanafaa kunibea jensi iguwe ni yangu nimekubali. Jensi ni, it's a big force. Ukiwa na jensi utakuwa raizu wa jamburi ya Kenya asubui. Gashagwa is also accused of allegedly threatening, intimidating and publicly condemning state officers. According to the motion, Gashagwa is accused of having publicly condemned the director of National Intelligence Service, Nudrin Haji, a section of Mount Kenya MPs, accused the second in command of inciting the electorates against them. This comes as the High Court on Monday declined to issue orders stopping Parliament from processing an impeachment motion against Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa. The motion filed by ex-Kakamega Senator Cleophas Malala sought to bar the National Assembly and the Senate from tabling, debating, considering or acting upon any motion seeking to oust DP Gashagwa.
Malala argued that both houses lack the required two-thirds gender rule threshold and therefore have breached the constitutional provisions. Dismissing the petition, Justice Bahati Mwamuye directed the National Assembly and Parliament to serve their rejoinders by Thursday. He added that if need be, Malala can serve his rejoinder by the end of Friday. The matter shall be mentioned on October 7th. Majority leader in the National Assembly, Kimani Shungwa, has confirmed that the motion of impeachment will be tabled on Tuesday. Tabling the motion will require 233 MPs to support it to sail through, with reports indicating that as of the close of business on Sunday, 302 members of parliament had appended their signatures. The impeachment process is being driven by more than 300 members of parliament. We have enough numbers, there's no doubt. And there are very many legal provisions that are, we are leveraging on. We are alive to a fact that uh, if the deputy president will survive this impeachment, he will be more powerful than ever. Gashago will be expected to answer to a myriad of charges, among them violating Article 10 as his accusers argue that his public utterances have been insightful, reckless, inflammatory, and culpable of stirring ethnic hatred. He is also being accused of violating Article 147, 148, 174, 186, and 189, which speak to his conduct and responsibility as the principal assistant to the president. He will also defend himself against claims of corruption and unlawful acquiring assets using taxpayers' money. The assets are said to be spread in Nyeri, Nairobi, and Kilifi counties. If the motion sails through, National Assembly Speaker Moses Wetangula will communicate the resolution within two days to Senate Speaker Amazon Kingi for action. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, Amesh Msimbi.